Are we live? <laughs> how, how do we know? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'll log on on my phone. Okay, good. It says we're live. It says we've been live for 10 seconds. Wow, okay. Oh, well, wait. I see us, I think. Oh, there's a delay. Wait, okay. Did I just figure this out? Because if I did, I'm... You know what? Just lots of pats on the backs for D. For sure. Wait, okay. okay. Can everyone see us? Live. I see us. It says nine people are watching. Hear us? See us? Yeah, I see us. Yay! We did it. Okay. Well, that's exciting. But can they hear us? I don't know. Okay, I'm seeing comments. Yes, it says you're live. You're on. Yes, I can see you. Okay, yes, I can see you. Okay, let me just finish uh, doing my makeup really quick. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I didn't put makeup on for you guys. <laughs> I'm only putting it on because I already had it on, and then now I feel like it's just, like, weirdly splotchy. This is so weird. I see us in three areas. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yay. Oh, hi. it's working. My new, like, favorite bronzer of choice, I wasn't using it, and now I'm using it all the time, is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Whack a little bit of that on. Yeah, get it, girl. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that this worked. I cannot believe that you figured that out. I spent a couple hours yesterday, and every time I tried to figure it out, it was like, oh, no, sorry, you can't download this plug-in on your computer. Whatever. Yay. From my hourglass palette. Look at you! You're getting fancy. Ta-da! I can. Are you able to? See, are you tiny and I'm big on yours? Um. Well, I see us both split half and half. Oh, okay. I only. I have me tiny up in the corner. You're looking so. at Skype, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm looking at us. On our YouTube channel, on the eCam call, and on Skype. Oh, that's a lot. You're doing... I see your face three times. I can... Can you see oh. me laughing? And now Siri, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Okay. Can you I see the YouTube it. comments? No. Okay. So I'm... I will Go read ahead. you... If anything comes through, it's just a whole lot of hi, 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 highs. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so maybe I, let me see if I can like log into it and see the comments on like my phone. Yeah, you should be able to. So maybe I need to play it though and just mute us. That's fine. There is a delay. That's okay though. Oh, is that what I look like? Ooh. Hate one. Do you see what I look like? You look cute. You look a little tan. Someone said a round of applause for the hard work to connect. <laughs> that and a big sip drink. That's me. So I, I did lay out in the sun yesterday. I think that's why. I did not get a cocktail and I regret that decision. Oh no. I have so much makeup all over my... Okay, so we're not doing anything interesting yet. You want to start? Oh my god, yeah, we forget everything. Are we, are we starting with our intro? Oh yeah, hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And we're our time of the month, virtual. Da, Although da, we're da. always virtual because we exist only on the internet, but in this particular case, normally I would be sitting directly to Danielle's left. Your That's right. That's true. My, well, her right, no, her left, my right, and everyone else's right. Uh, but instead, I am at home in my own bedroom. And I'm in my dining room. Yes. Uh, I don't have a cocktail. That sucks. Do you want to go get one? No, because we're live. That's boring. Nobody's going to want to look at all my clean clothes scattered all over my room. Clean clothes? Mostly. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Someone said, good morning. Good morning. Wherever you are, it's morning. It's 5.50 p.m. here. I want to thank Danielle for my p.m. donut. I want to thank Caitlin for my beautiful balloon garland. This is so good. I'm so is glad. Icing? Strawberry. Mm. Yep. 
No. Okay, someone says go get someone says go get a cocktail. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I like that you know that. And also me setting down that donut made me think of the cop in Was that the Santa Claus? <sighs> yeah. It is. That so was- we edit our videos, obviously. We've never been off the cuff on YouTube. Instagram, it's like a shit show 24-7. Uh-huh. I would agree with that. So now you're going to see us raw and unfiltered. Although if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. Wait, so is it just live and then it uploads directly? Or can you edit it? I'm not going to edit it. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> I like how this is going. Scandalous. Uh-huh. We're going to have it all laid out. Oh my gosh, it's the morning here in Tasmania, Australia. We have followers in Australia? I love that. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, hey, a sprinkle. And yes, I did make my tie-dye. Someone asked. Lynn's. Lynn's plins. I did. And then I cut it to shit. Did you? Well, yeah, because I don't like the tightness of a regular neck. I like, I just want to be free. It's funny. I didn't even notice that you that you. Um, and, and I cut the band off the sleeves. That's why the fabric rolled. You did a great job. Thank you. I can't see the comments. Go to comments. Tap to see all. It doesn't look like it looks like there are none. Hmm. Well, when I go. Yeah, that stinks. Wait, I see all these comments. Can you? I no. Are you in the app? Are you are you watching as a viewer? Yeah. That's weird. But shouldn't they still be able to see the comments? Yeah, everybody else can see them. Weird. Okay, well it's probably not interesting for me to be looking at my phone. But I'll read you things. Watching from Newfoundland, Canada. Missed you guys. We miss you. We do miss you. Yeah. Mm. So we are gonna do empties today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I have a whole bunch. Bye, Jane. Jane's going to work in Australia. I got a lot happening. Same. Wow, look at us. Whoa. You know, even though, even though we're isolating and social distancing and all that stuff, I'm still using shit on my body. Yeah. Susan says tap live chat if you want. Hi from Morgantown. Hi. Go Mountaineers. Someone says tell her to go live chat on your phone. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh, there it is. There you go. Someone's in Washington, Vashon Island. Oh. Hi from Chilliwack, British Columbia. I really like the name of that town. Cleansing bombs, but do we have any recommended cleansing oils? Wait, where do you see that? Oh, yeah, there we go. I, d- I do not. I know Take the Day Off makes a cleansing oil, but I can't speak to its uh, greatness. Oh, I'm so glad this worked. This is amazing. Hi from Pittsburgh. I don't see that. Oh, yeah, there. Okay, I see it. Illinois, Maine, Sacramento. Wow. Well, hi from Baltimore. I feel like one day I want to do this with an actual map. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And like pin it and see. Spain. How are you? How are you all? Oh yeah, it's Maria. Oh, this is just so lovely. Delaware, Texas, Columbus, Ohio. Look at us. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to start making real content. Okay, so we thought that we would just treat this like a real video. We're gonna share with you some of our trash, some of our empties, just like we would any other time. Yep. So, you know, we start top Uh, down. down. Oh, do you know how long we said that? A long time. Okay, I gotta move some shit out of my way because I got a lot of makeup just kicking around. Can I tell you something that I just did, though, that I feel a lot of shame for? Yeah. You're gonna make me feel bad. Uh oh, okay. I bought a pricey uh, product, item, item, accessory. I assumed that this is what you were going to tell me. 
while my Fitbit shit the bed. Uh huh. Oh, I feel like you just got it two years ago. Still, that is not long enough. Fitbits. Every Fitbit I've ever had like dies immediately. Maybe I bought an iWatch, uh, Apple Watch. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. You know, whatever floats your boat. What if it doesn't float my boat? Then return it. That's true. I will, because I got it from fucking Target, and they'll take that shit back. Ah! Uh Doing my gel nail manicure and pedicure. Uh, I'm from Michigan. I have so much stuff. So do I. It's insane. I, I feel like I have to save some of it for when we're IRL. Do we have a time limit? You know, I'm pretty sure you could do this all day, 24 hours, if you wanted. You're kidding. I don't think they can cut us off. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've watched people do fundraisers on here for like 24 hours, so what's the difference? Yeah, that's true. That sounds like Well, I mean, the, the difference is they're good people doing good things, and we're less good people. Trash people. Trash people. Okay. I have... Hmm... Who just laughed at me? Someone just said Caitlin. LOL. I think it's from when you were like, okay. <laughs> About my naughty purchase. Whatever. It's your life. It's your life. Okay. So I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to let you go first. Well, okay. Wait. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably have 39. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to start with nine then. Okay, I'm just going to dig in when you're done. I have nine that are sorted out. I have many more that I could share in a basket still. So the first one, which is if you've been watching our, our Insta story a while ago, I did dye my hair with Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in the shade Frilly. This is a discontinued shade, but I literally went out and bought three more colors uh, of this exact same product because I really, really liked how it worked. Um, I did mix it 50-50 with conditioner, and I found that it still gave me a ton of color payoff. I just let it sit on longer. Mm -hmm. and so this, in theory, was supposed to be like half a use, and I got a whole use out of it. And, uh, I, yeah, no, I would definitely do it. They're running tons of sales right now. There's discount codes. Big, I'm a big fan of this. Good. Would repurchase because I already done did it. Because you, you did. Three times over. Yes. Right? Six times over, technically, because I got three shades, but I got six jars of it. Wow. Yeah. Someone says, my Fitbit kept breaking. I got an Apple Watch. I love it. Couldn't go without it. Why do you dislike Apple Watches? I love mine. I, I, we don't dislike it. It's just, it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's also just like, I feel like Apple products are always the one that people are like, it's the best. And everyone goes out and buys them and they truly might be the best, but I just feel like there's always so much hype and I don't know if yeah. they have to the hype. I well, mean, I, I would never buy the new one. Right. And I say this as the owner of an iPhone. I've had many iPhones. And I have my, a MacBook. Yeah. I have, you know, I've drank the Kool-Aid, but I'm just yeah. trying to be aware that I'm yeah. drinking the Kool-Aid. So I, I will say, this made me feel better. First of all, Mike was like, get it, get it, get it. And then I, I realized that they were on sale for $125 off the last model. So I just pulled the trigger. For you. Whatever. Okay. We're saving money in quarantine. That is so true. So true. We're not going out to the bar. Although, how much did I really go out to the bar? No, but my thing that I keep thinking of is even though I felt like I never went out to the bar, I still was constantly taking Ubers. Yeah. So I haven't taken a single Uber in months. You're right. Yeah. So what would you spend $55? Oh, never mind. Keep going. What did you spend? Okay. Okay, dry shampoo. Start, starting top down. Pouring dry shampoo. This is the same one. This is the big daddy. This little baby. I love it. It's in my top three favorites. I would absolutely repurchase it. I have, I don't know, what, six times? Yeah. Or more. Or more. But I don't have it in my rotation right now. In a similar vein, I also have dry shampoo. This is like a cult classic. So... It is the Batiste dry shampoo, specifically in the scent Sassy wild. and Stirring Wild. wild. So if you wild. want to look for the one that's like wild. mixed animal prints, 
a lot of their other ones are super florally, but this one is kind of like deeper, muskier, sexier to me. Mm. Um, I got this came for five bucks at Marshall's. I got this for eight ninety nine at TJ Maxx. So the prices vary, but if you ever see this on the clearance shelf, buy all the ones they have. I yes. that because I have more of the Batiste dry shampoo in my cupboard, but I do not have this uh, scent. So I'm bummed. But I did just buy some high end dry shampoos to uh, test. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh, oh! Hi. Did you see him just casually walk by with his mustache? Well, yeah, because he also did one of these. Which I somebody, <laughs> somebody said they cried. They prayed for him to shave that fucking thing off. <laughs> and now it's back again. Oh yeah, I didn't. Be nice. This is just for you. <laughs> oh, he says this is just for you. <laughs> just for you. Danielle loves a mustache ride. Sidebar, I cannot wait to tell you all about my new neighbor. Oh, really? Caitlin, she gave me her life story yesterday. In a good way or a bad way? No, that can't, there's no way it's a good way. It's both. It's both. I'm curious. I also you, have, you just uh, wait until I tell you. <laughs> so good. Uh, Shelly asked what brand was that dry shampoo. The answer is Colrain. Oh, Tank top and short short. <laughs> Tom Selleck! He looks like a porn star. He do look like a porn star. In a good way, they're saying that in a good way. Oh, he just did one of these for you. I'm telling him to come over and flap his dick a little bit. Can you just come over and say hi a little? Look how long his hair is. Oh my god! You're actually going back in time. Yeah. You're in the 70s right now. He wants me to buzz it. Do a couple hip thrusters. Mike, uh, hip thrusters. He's gone. He can't hear you anyways. Boo. Because that I'm I'm okay, mustache from my favorite friends. <laughs> okay, the dry shampoo was chlorine. K-L-O-R-A-N-E. Chlorine. Did, is it my turn? <laughs> yeah, yes, I just did sassy and daring. Sassy and daring. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, another hair product, and one that I bought the big daddy of in the Sephora sale, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox Shampoo. It is the best clarifying shampoo I've ever used. I shampoo my hair as normal with a regular no-frills one, and then I go in with this because generally my hair is so dirty that this really won't get to the root of the problem <laughs> on the first go-around, and I don't want to waste it. It's fantastic. It's like charcoal colored. I love it so much. It makes my hair feel brand new. You know, I've never actually used a clarifying shampoo. I used to use the suave one and I loved it, but I know it's, I know it's very stripping. Yeah. So, uh, the opposite of Danielle's pro clarifying product, I have a hair mask. This is the Amika Nourishing Mask in Sea Buckthorn Berry. It's the best one. <laughs> You're right. I got this. It looks like I paid $14.99 for this at TJ Maxx. I am devastated that this is empty. This is my, I don't know, third or fourth jar of it. I would 100% repurchase. I will say I've never paid the full price for it, and I probably won't. Yeah. Because I, I can find other decent hair masks at TJ Maxx and Marshalls that are more or less the same, and it's cheaper than buying it full price. Right now I'm using the Perfect Hair Day hair mask and I like that one but this is definitely better I agree with you I wish I had it right now me too I wish okay what do you want to do next uh you fucking just gonna... my face your face my face uh <laughs> there's so much in here okay Okay, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I loved it, then I hated it, and guess what? Now I'm back on my bullshit. I wasn't going to share this one, but since it's in here and you just did it, exactly the same. I have Vanilla O2. I'm actually wearing it on my face right now. I am too. It's the only thing I have on. Yeah, I have other makeup on, but this is the bulk of it, and I have really been loving it for 
when you don't want to wear a full face of makeup, but you just want to even out your skin tone. Right. Whack this on, put it on like lotion. Whack it on. Don't even worry about it. Just rub it in and be done. But rub it out of your eyebrow hairs because if you're like me, it looks fucking orange around your eyebrows no matter what color this really is. Oh, really? I've never yeah. noticed that's mine. Yeah, but I, I bought it again in my current shade because I was like, you know what? I think I'm back to liking it. What I am liking it. I'm still, it's in a rotation with a bunch of others. I also have it in like six shades. Awesome, but Vanilla O2 is the one that's been working for me recently. Uh, okay, uh, so for me, so next, washing my face. I have, there's a little bit in here, but honestly, the pump stopped working and it's just not worth it. This is the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I liked it. I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. It was a little too um, gel for me. I want like a little bit more foaming. I just felt like it wasn't, I don't know, it didn't feel as nice to use. It didn't, didn't feel like you were clean. Yeah, and I just, I feel like it's, while it's a good product, I just didn't like the way it felt. It's, I mean, it washed my face, but I just think I've, I've used better. And you will see better in my empties. I've had better. Mm hmm Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Speaking of better, Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Bought it again. We'll continue to buy it. I've bought it for years. I love it so much. I would write a love letter to it. Yeah, I believe it. I This is... I have it on its way from Sephora. This was a totally an influenced moment from Danielle. She started using it, loved it. I started using it, loved it. It's so good. Uh, I wish, I miss Marshalls and TJ Maxx so much. You feel me? Oh my God, absolutely. thousand percent. Kate looks and I filmed a haul pre-lockdown. Do you remember that? It was like our last hurrah. It was before anything popped off. I think it was like the end of February. Which was so funny because it was also like the first time that we had done that in so long. So it was our first and our last. We went ham. And I have that footage, but I have not edited it. Edited it? There are so many farts and burps in that video. <laughs> Should we just release it? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it's like an hour and a half. That would be funny though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so mine, the next one, you've seen me use this before. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. This was my go-to uh, morning under makeup moisturizer. I like it. I'm working my way through some other ones that I have right now. I would repurchase, but I would actually probably do some research to see if there's something else I wanted more. Yeah. Because, like, this is a good one, and I know that I like it, but I just feel like I'm still hunting for the one that I really love. I thought you were really liking that um, CBD Pavar. one. Pavar, yeah. I do, but I actually started, I switched to the fresh one that you gave me, the Lotus, yeah. the blue one. I've been liking that one. I have some other stuff I want to try. I just, I can't commit to this one. You can't be married to it. Oh, Miss oh. Bean has got a Lotte corn chippers. Dippers, yeah. Dippers. Someone said release that beast. <laughs> You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. Even in oh. quarantine, you don't have enough hours in the day to watch that. That's true. We're just lunatics. Okay, what else do I have? I have three shaving creams. This is my favorite one. It's the Cremo Moisturizing Formula Shave Cream in the scent French Lavender. I love this one a lot. I actually just purchased it online a few days ago. And then I have Eos Shave Cream in Lavender Jasmine. I like this one less. I feel like it doesn't go as much. Are you hearing a lot of static? A little bit. You want me to try to take out my thingies? Maybe. Because this is supposed to prevent static. Yeah, I'm hearing static. Or do you have headphones? Talk again. Do you have headphones? It gets louder when you talk. <sighs> okay. Let me... Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's still staticky. Yeah, let me... Undo my Bluetooth. Please hold. Do you have a window open? I can't hear you. Hang on. I'm trying to disconnect my... Can you hear me now? I can hear you. 
I can hear you. How's the static? I still hear it. Do you have a window open? Oh, it's probably my computer. It's the processor oh. of my computer. The whirring? Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's really That's loud. That's it. That's probably what it is. Because it does sound like kind of like wind blowing fan. Yeah. I turned my phone off because I was worried it was that. Let me... It sounds like an ocean in the background. Is what someone said. I know. And you're right. It totally does. I guess it's just my processor. Because it's it's running multiple programs right now. I'm really sorry. They say it's, a, it's like white noise, though. Jamie said that it's, it's white noise and just a smiley face. Hello. I can talk louder. Hello from Tracy from Wisconsin. Yeah, just a girl hears it. Okay. Okay. But I'll keep, I'll keep going. It's my turn or your turn. I oh, I just did shaving cream. Oh. It's very thrilling. I don't think you talked about the Cremo, though. Cremo? Oh, Cremo. Cremo's my favorite. Would absolutely... I have repurchased it a thousand times. Uh... Quest. Quest White Swiss. Crest White Strips. Uh, I have, to be honest, this is an old empty. I did use them a while ago. I need to repurchase them and start using them again. I definitely noticed a difference when I was using them, and I will purchase again. Yeah? Yeah. I, I agree. Want, I don't want corn for teeth. Corn? Corn teeth? Corn teeth. Um... My favorite body oil, it's the, wow, it's so covered in dog hair, it's so nasty. The Body Shop Spa of the World, Thai Macrit Lime, and then French Lavender Massage Body Oils. These are amazing. I would purchase them over and over and over again. I have. Caitlin's mom even bought me one for my Easter basket last year. Yes, I, it's funny because I think I'm actually just about to use up the bottle that I got last Easter, I'm guessing. Or did I buy it again? I'm, I'm working on my last bottle. I'm sad. I know. I need to repurchase. I need to find it. Find uh, it. What? Find it. Find it. The next thing, our favorites. We need to, find, we need to reach out to this guy again because we pimp them out more than almost anything. That are the, the Noom tablets in uh, both. So there's the fruit punch flavored, and that's just the regular one. And then I did use an, an energy one, which was cherry limeade. I love all the flavors unless they have melon in them. And they're, I have favorites, obviously. And actually, the cherry limeade is one of my favorites. I wish they made it without the caffeine. Um, and they do. Really, they do? I'm 99% positive. Maybe just not at the store that I was. Uh, my dad also loves them. He was like, oh, can you get me more of those? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. Uh, blueberry tangerine is my favorite. Will repurchase forever. Same. If I'm feeling low, if I if someone around me is ill, if I'm hungover, I am taking noon tabs. I agree. I concur. And then they hold a really great amount of jelly beans and you can carry them in your purse. Also true. I want to do something fun. The amount of garbage. Oh, here's a mic product. Oh, that's fun. You've got a man in your life. Uh, if you've got a man in your life and they don't have a skin care routine, I feel like that's very normal. It's amazing if I can get Mike to wash his face. And he really likes the Goodfellow & Co. face wash with kelp and sea mineral. This is from Target. He's using Jack Black right now because that's his favorite. And I got it during the Sephora sale. I also got Jack Black during the Sephora sale. Oh, for who? Hey, for the new man in my life that doesn't have a skincare routine. Shocker. You know, you know, I took a bottle of this over there and I left it. And he's using it. Well, so no, I, I didn't leave it on purpose, but yeah, he started using it. And I, I didn't just, leave it on purpose. And he started, he smelled so good yesterday, I like could not stop telling him. I was like, you smell so good, you smell so good. I was like, did you use the lotion? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I did. And I was like, yeah, I, I am so attracted to you. Today, I was over there. I fucking washed this man. Use it on his face. No, he did not. Yes, he literally... I did. hate guys. I hate them. Squirted it out and literally straight up went... I think... Was he in a towel? Why was he shirtless? I don't know. But anyway, he literally did like his whole upper body with this moisturizer. And I mean, it was like, no, sir, you may not. Them's not the rules. But the men rules, can know. use anything on their face and their face looks better for it. Meanwhile, yeah. if I even put it near my face, it would be like... <sighs> Oh no! <laughs> exactly. So, needless to say, I did purchase a Jack Black skincare kit 
for this man because he needs some sort of shit happening. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't watch this go on someone's face. Although he smells delicious when I kiss him. Kiss him when I kiss him. Okay, I have. Uh, let's see, a couple of powders, a couple setting powders. Wait, wait, wait. I, question. I'm sorry. Katie Willis said, can you make a Caitlyn's dad favorite? I think we should just do a dude favorites video. But why would it be my dad? Because favorite? he liked the noons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad does have favorites. I can share some dad favorites. Yeah. It would be Sutter Home, no, Kendall Jackson wine. In the, in the jug? Uh, yes, the char- I think it's a Chardonnay, probably. Noon tabs. His, uh... Nope, gotta skip that one. Uh, <laughs> he has some things. Yeah. He asked me to restock him. Oh, wow. My dad asked me about it the other day when I when we talked. He was like, yeah, how's that going? I was like, still open. Still doing well. Essential. Essential. Although, I took one last night before bed. Uh-huh. And, and when I woke up, I kept thinking there was giant fruit in my room. <laughs> Which one did you take? The, the mango ginger. Oh, you took a whole one? No. Oh. It's 25. I bit off, oh. like, a corner and then some. Oh, okay. So it was like an eight, seven, eight. Something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I did that tonight. I didn't want to do that tonight. Watch the Ozark. Well, and honestly, I slept really, really well, so. Uh, yeah. I have two setting powders. Neither of them would I repurchase. The Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder I still have a tiny bit left, but it took me so long to get through it. It was one of those powders, like, that just wouldn't get on my brush or sponge. Oh, uh-huh. And so I just feel like it's just, it's fine. It is what it is. And then the other one I have is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder. I really like the Physician's Formula powder that comes in the circle, but the square one I did not love as much, and I would not repurchase. Hmm. Five Old Spice deodorants. At least your pits aren't smelling. Absolutely not. Wow. Um, I smell wonderful. I've also started getting the dude that I'm fucking to start wearing Old Spice, which I appreciate. What was he wearing before? Degree. I Mike is a he degree like, guy. He had like a five pack from Costco. So I have these. The, my favorite scents are Swagger, which I think I might have bought in like a, jum- a jumbo pack because I have so many of them. Uh, but I have Swagger, Stronger Swagger, not regular, Stronger. Wow. And I also have another Swagger and Captain. Captain. So I love men's deodorant. I think it works the best. I find that it's like the fragrance lasts the longest. And for some reason, I feel like women's fragrance stuff, it just smells so like sickly sweet. And then when it mixes yeah. with my sweat, I guess, it's just, I don't like it. It's but, not good. This shit, I, like, will occasionally, like, reach for something. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Could you make a list of everything you recommend from your empties, please? Oh, which is the good man scent from Bath & Body? Noir. It's Noir. Yeah. I have three uh, Pitt's Pussy Poop Hole Wipes. I I have not been using wipes, like, at all the past couple of months. Me neither. I have Summer's Eve Fresh Cycle Cleansing Cloths. This says it was to reduce period odor. I bought it because it was the only thing that Dollar General had. I have Summer's Eve Aloe Cleansing Cloths. I prefer these over the other. And then I have the Honey Pot Company, which I prefer over all of them. Normal wipes. I use wipes for my pits, my puss, my poop hole when I need it. Like, I don't want to shower all the time. I just don't enjoy it. Although, every time I get out of the shower, I'm like, wow, why don't I do that more often? You know. Yeah. Thank you for the Tracy's Dog recommendation. All I can say is wow. Wow. You're welcome. You, are welcome. you can't share that kind of joy. You can't keep that kind of joy to yourself. You got to sh- shout it from the rooftops. Shout. Shout. So how many more do you have? Or are you gonna keep, how long are you keep, going to keep going? I don't know. I mean, we've only been doing this for 34 minutes. Ah, sure. We got fucking time. Uh, the next, so I'll dig some out. The next two things I have are both Kristen S products. One is the Kristen S Rose Gold Temporary Tint. Uh, I have used this to get pink hair. I think it works great. It's a fucking mess. Just FYI. I have it. 
So, like, do it when your shower is already dirty. Do not do it when your shower is clean. You will hate yourself. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a good one. It definitely rinses out eventually, and you can vary the strength of the pink. Do I you think like, you could do it outside? Like, if we went outside and sprayed it? Yeah. Yeah, I think now that it's summer, you could definitely just, like, wet your hair. You got to, I think you shampoo and then use it. Spray it on what? Yeah. Damp, towel-dried hair. So you spray it on, you could let it sit, and then you could wash it off. Yeah, you could. Okay. If you're really daring, you could let someone hose you off. The other one is the Kristen S. Signature Finishing Hairspray. I have demonstrated that this is... Sorry, this man just looks like he's walking to my front door. What's he doing? What's is he? Doing? Oh, sorry. Nope. False alarm. He's not at your house? No, he, like, at the very last minute sort of diverted over into our alley, which was also weird. But, uh, so, I loved this hairspray. Loved, loved, loved. I have some other hairsprays I'm working through, but I, as soon as I'm done with those, we'll go back to this one. I just oh. found that it was really buildable, and I could use it in tandem with her. It's like a pomade, like a styling pomade, and it was just the perfect combo because it held my style throughout the day, but then at the end of the day, I could just brush my hair, and in the morning, I would wake up, and it could be styled again. Okay. It actually, I think, held better because it had that base level product in there. It, like, held a really good style, and I could go five days, and it not be a problem. The stuff I'm using now, I feel like I have to wash my hair after three days, which I do not like to do. Ooh. So, yeah. Good. I really liked that, and we'll repurchase. Okay. I have... I think just one body care product and it's the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I love this stuff. I use it. I just opened up a new tub yesterday. I love this stuff. I use it. Duh. This is the only scent that I like and it's the crushed macadamia and rice milk. Oh, get out. Uh, my Rite Aids went out of business in my area and so I went to each and every Rite Aid in my zip code and I bought all of these because they were 75% off. They have them at BJ's in a two or three pack. Next time I go, I'll pick you some up. Okay. I have, well, I have two body exfoliators right now. Oh, okay. I'll wait then. Okay. Thank you, though. I'm excited. Oh, somebody says I'm glowing. Oh, my God. Why? One, because I have makeup on. Oh. Two, because I came straight from a dick appointment. And also, you're in front of a really good window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the first time that my color has been decent in front of this window? I think it's always decent. Every single time we filmed for a Green Spring Station, it was always good. See, I always think I looked really... Well, I looked really yellow when I'm doing it, and then in the actual footage, it looks fine. You look fine. good. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is the first time I ever feel like I'm getting white light, and I don't look like one of these emoji faces. Oh. Also, <laughs> I wish I had a newer computer, because I feel like I look less crisp than you do. Uh, I'm this big on my screen so we look the same you look very crisp oh thank you well, i guess i could look at myself here oh yeah i do look pretty crisp Ooh. okay is it you it's you i just did dove body polish also oh. i have had like almost four shots of tequila so hi uh, thank you uh my oh my hair color looks great too you guys are so nice why is everyone complimenting me today did you know i needed it I, I appreciate it. And I so have, clean. And so clean. I'm never clean. This is the cleanest you all have ever seen. Well, not the cleanest because, like, but whatever. Uh, I have a, a Redken Extreme Shampoo. It's a fortifier for distressed hair. That sounds like a clarifying shampoo. Mm, I don't think it is. Mm. Cleanse, strengthen, and restore distressed hair with complete extreme care system. It's funny to me that my hair can be distressed. It's so stressed. Not broken, not damaged. Distressed in absolute... Ugh, SOS. Flood. It's sending up flares. Anyway, I liked it. I like Redken products. I would purchase again. But for me, I don't... I'm not loyal to one brand. So, like, yeah, yes, right. I would purchase it again if I found it. But if I don't, I won't. If like, you found it on sale. It. Right. I'm not going to seek it out. Uh, the other one I have is the Eva NYC Soften Up Conditioner. You hated I, it. 
I had the matching shampoo. I didn't like either of them. I almost felt like when I got out of the shower, even if I used the conditioner, I felt like almost like how your hair feels when you get out of a pool, like that sticky chlorine feel. Ooh. It just didn't work with my hair because you really liked it, right? Mm. It was okay for the price. Yeah, I would not, not, not repurchase, would repurchase. Got it. Okay. I'm empty in four more products, like totally empty. Oh. That's kind of exciting because Cindy's been kicking around for a while. I'll do three hair care products. Spit. I'm going to go quick. Okay, rapid fire. Alternate Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo. Absolutely love it. Would 100 times repurchase over and over and over and over and over again. It's my favorite. I feel like it's the one shampoo that I feel like I'm not loyal to it because I will use other things, but I'm more loyal to it than anything. I have the Joyco Color Endure Shampoo. I will buy this if I find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because it's decent. And then this was something that I purchased on a family vacation because I forgot to pack conditioner. And this is almost a year old. It's the Garnier Whole Blends Oat Delicacy Gentle Conditioner. I use it as conditioner on vacation. It was fine. It then became a uh, shaving cream for me. And it was yeah. great. Yeah. A conditioner is a great shaving cream. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of shaving creams, you know what? Mm. You love it. You've seen it. It is the Gillette Venus Shower and Shave Cream and Vanilla Cream. This was also a Danielle influence. Uh, I really like it. Although I, I just sort of will use whatever I have in my... Um, shower to, to provide any lubrication. So I will pick this up if I happen to see it, but I don't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah. Uh, right now, I mean, I think I'm even just using a Dove like body wash. Yeah. And my Billy razor requires so little like lubrication that I don't end up like it's not. It doesn't make sense for me to buy this when I have some other shit that I can just whack on real quick. And you don't have to shave very often. You've got like decently slow hair growth. Well, so it's it's not even that I don't have to shave often it's that it actually hurts if I do shave like I can't shave two days in a row oh no I, I will get these very angry red bumps all over my, my legs okay. I would say I probably can't even really shave more frequently than like every three days wow yeah and then my armpits I like never have to shave <laughs> I could shave those every day hi from Pensacola Florida what's up Judy oh what's up Judy <laughs> we love Judy Judy. Okay. So we had a sponsored video, hashtag sponsored video with Hum. And I just want you to know that I legit used them and I legit liked them, but I have not repurchased. Yeah. I, I forget, you know, I just forget. Well, it's I, one more thing you have to, like, buy on the internet, and you're like, ugh. Right. So I had the Hum Skin Heroes Pre and Probiotic for the gut and the skin. I really liked this one a lot. And then I had the OMG Fish Oil. I would repurchase this one, maybe, but then the um, Plain Milk's fine. Plain Thank Milk you. is fine. Thank you, Katie. <sighs> Listen, do you want this doll or not? Shut your eyes. <laughs> If you don't know what we're talking about, we are talking about the Santa Claus, which would be the second time we have referenced this that movie in one live. Remember when we got really and we just kept talking about Scott? <laughs> Scott! I could do it, I could do it right now. Okay, so I would not repurchase the um, Omegas because I really liked another one that I used and it was cheaper. I really love the probiotic. I was actually just talking to my parents about how I need to start doing that again because I'm having tumble trouble. Tummy trouble. Uh, Tara asked about my Billy Razor. I fucking love my Billy Razor. You put it, it in a favorites. I put it in a favorites. I actually told a friend of mine how much I loved it the other day. I think that, one, they're really inexpensive. I love that it auto ships, and you can choose how often you get them. And the, um, I feel like I get a better shave with it than any other razor I've ever used. It just feels like it's more gentle, but also shaves closer. Powerful. Yeah, which I thought the whole thing was like a whole big gimmick and they're real fucking cute. And I thought, I'm going to be one of those dumb bitches that buys a cute thing off the internet that's worthless. But not at all. Would recommend. 
Maybe I'll try it. I just have so many blades right now. Yeah, well, I would use those up first and yeah. then try it. Um, I'm seeing someone in wrapping. Sorry, I'm seeing someone in wrapping. Yes! Oh, Heidi bought the Billy Razor because I said she, I liked it, and she loves it too. Oh, good. Alicia, do you still use the hum to sleep, and do you find that it helps? I do. I use it occasionally, and I use it not every single night because I don't feel like I need to because I'm using other things that help with that as well. But I do have it, I do use it, and I do think that it works. And when I wake up, I don't feel groggy. And I think that is a really big telltale sign of something that's decent. Yeah. I, I just, just use weed. Well, that's the other thing that I'm using in tandem with it. Yeah. That's the thing we don't talk So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I have always had an issue, like, falling asleep, not staying asleep as much, but falling asleep. And that has helped that significantly. Yeah. I, and we I, both have our medical card. So don't even come at us. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can try, but you're not going to get very far. I literally have the thing because of my sleep issues. Um, so the thing, wait, okay, we have questions. Danielle, what color do you use in your hair? I think you're going to have to ask your hairdresser for that one. It's just highlights. Every time someone asks, it's just highlights. She just does, like, a lot of really sporadically per placed foils with bleach and then she uses a toner on it usually and then sometimes she'll do a root melt because I don't like I don't like that freshly highlighted look but I'm going on seven months with no color so this is like this is my natural color yeah but she also does teasy lights and baby lights I don't get that anymore it's it's mostly just highlights and root melt oh really yeah I didn't know that. When I was first, when I first went and I was like virgin hair, she did all the things. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Uh, the next thing I have is a Glam Glow mask. This is the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I could do this all day. Have you ever seen a million dollars, Neil? <laughs> I literally said that to someone the other day. Mike says it all the time. Well, have you ever seen a million dollars? I don't remember who I said it to, but I said it to somebody, and they didn't get it, and I was really sad. Here's one of my favorites. I would like a Susie Talks a lot. <laughs> or no, ballet slippers. Ballet slippers. Why didn't you drink the milk? That girl's voice also. She's got, like, such a gravelly... You're supposed to drink the milk. You're supposed to drink the milk. You're supposed to drink the milk. Oh, my God, uh, Stop. Also, um, the other thing, uh, every time I hear that ZZ Top song, I always think of the Santa Claus. And I, I came, it came on the other day when I was in the car, and I meant to text you and be like, I'm thinking about Santa Claus. I'm going to watch uh, that. You know, I was in the car with, with, with What's-His-Face the other day, and he put on a Christmas song. He put on Nat King Cole, in the, and I was like, what are you doing? Uh-huh. Does he know how much I love Christmas music? I told him. Thank you. Uh, he also put on, oh my god, what song was that? Oh, Ray LaMontagne. Oh, Can't remember which song him. it was. But it's like my favorite song, and I cried. I cried in the car. I was like, I just love, I'm just like, you're just like, I don't know why he is now. Tara wants to know what movie we're referencing. It's The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Charlie! Uh, Charlie Scott! Mystery date. I was telling him about Mystery Date today, and I was, like, trying to remember the name of it. So this, uh, sorry. Whew, got really off on a tangent there. This is all the stuff we cut out of the videos. Yes, this is the shit that you normally don't see. Uh, Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. I didn't like this. I just thought it was underwhelming. I thought it was, like, I don't know. It was mud to oil, and that 100% didn't makes sense. I just don't, I don't think it was mud to oil. I think it was just mud to like gooey cleanser. I don't know. But anyway, look, I didn't even finish it. It dried out before I could. I just, every time I went into my little mask bin, it was just not the one that I re reached for. Retched for is what I was about Retched. to say. Retched. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so I have used other Glenglow products and liked them. This is not my fave. I'm sorry. Oh, no weenie whistle. <laughs> Tara's never seen it? Girl, watch it now. Yeah, go ahead. It's quarantine. You like also Buka, Charlie? Did you see I just wrote that? <laughs> yeah. 
That's, I think, my favorite quote. Or when he's on the highway and he's driving. And That's he's like, not very ladylike. You should see all this traffic and he's just empty road. Oh, God. Oh, he's the best dad. He's the worst dad is really what I meant. I love, I love that movie. You know, Disney made an extra special exception for him because he had been, they don't okay. hire, yeah, they don't hire people that have been arrested and he has. Well, I didn't think they hired people that had a felony charge. I think that's what it is. Whew. Okay. Is it my turn or your turn? I think it's my turn. Um, is that an ant? That's a fucking ant. Gross. Oh. This is the Lancome Advanced Genophique Youth Activating Concentrate. Don't worry, I bought four of them. She bougie bit, bougie bitch, bougie bitch. I just really love it, and I do notice a difference in my skin. I do. I can't help it. I love it that much. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. So while she's slapping some like hundred dollar shit on her face, I am spraying Dove deodorant between my thighs. Um, these are, Thanks. this is like my number one summer saver. I don't wear shorts. I pr almost pretty much wear dresses and skirts. And I cannot do that without having some sort of barrier in between my very delicate fast skin because my legs touch from pretty much my vagina to my ankles and I would just die. I would just actually start a fire and burst into flames if I didn't have I would it. just die. So, what scents um, do you have? So these are both the Caring Coconut. I do really like this scent. I do wish that they had more gender neutral or stereotypically like masculine scents mm -hmm. to match with my Old Spice. So typically I actually spray a layer of this down because it lasts the longest and works the best for me. And then top it with the Gold Bond. But they have the men's Dove in a spray as well. Do they? Uh-huh. To be honest, I have not been to a store to buy this in so long. I have no idea what they offer. No, I, I don't either. I want to find something fun. Have this, I'm my last thing and none of mine have been fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> mascara. Uh -huh. uh, I, I pretty much can get along with most mascaras. I really like the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. That's an empty. I would repurchase it. I really love the Lancome Monsieur Big for the people Monster. who are going to correct me. Monster. I have it in the big one and the travel one. I think it does marvelous things for my lashes. I'm currently using Benefit Roller Lash, which I also really love right now. And I, I don't know. I feel like I could just, I can get along with a lot of mascaras. I'm very grateful for it. Oh, yeah, Lynn says, oh, women going up in flames, chub rub, chub rub, I have the worst time with, that's what the dub deodorant for. Uh, last thing, I have two tubes of Colgate Optic White. One is advanced whitening, one is regular. I don't know, but anyway, I like them both, would repurchase. I, for some reason, started using a tube of Crest. I hate it, I want to go back to this, but I'll use up my Crest first. That is the only toothpaste that we buy. Yeah, I really like it. I and do I, like a couple Essence mascaras as well, Katie. That's my entire empties bin. I have a few more, but we don't need to get into it. I have never gone through my entire empties bin in an empties video. Well, we're only 53 minutes in. What do you want okay, to talk about? What do you want to do now? What do you want to do? Oh. Um, well, I don't have a drink, which I really want. Go get one. I know. Give These one people will wait. I could get a refill because... I'm empty. And if I'm empty. May, are we going to do, if we want to do, try and do questions, if anyone has any questions? Oh, yeah. If you have any questions, let us know. We're open books. Yeah. Somebody said, how are you keeping yourself sane during this quarantine? Therapy. A companion. A companion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A dog favorite. helps, too. Okay, I'm gonna mute my screen for a second so you don't see my dirty room while I'm running to get a drink. I will be right back. How do you mute your screen? Hey, did you know you can blur your background? Well, then just do that. Well, no, you'll still see everything. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to end my <gasps> video. Okay. Okay. So you can still hear me, right? Drink break. I can still hear you. Okay.
Okay, BRB! Okay, I'll BRB too. You're probably the only one not drinking right now. Intermission for refills. Yes. Okay, everybody wait. I'm gonna. Yeah, it just turned into like a commercial break. Play on your phone. Look at the TikTok. Listen to some jazzy elevator music. Mike, I'm drinking your margarita. Thanks. You can come cook now. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Okay. Well, I made this for my husband, but now I'm going to drink it instead. Hmm. In all seriousness, I do make a really good margarita. If you want the recipe, it is, you follow a three to one ratio, three parts tequila, two parts lime juice, one part, I use Cointreau, but you can use whatever you would like. I'm not drinking, I don't have anything here in my house. Tara, good for you, girlfriend. S1 is my favorite tequila as well. I don't know anyone else that knows about it. Girl, do you wanna know? what I know about Esplan. This is what I bought at the beginning of quarantine. I'm almost halfway through. I'm going to need another one pretty soon. It's the best tequila. If you like tequila, do not buy Patron. It is not as good as this and it's way more expensive and this bottle is super cool. Mike is probably going to come up and start cooking dinner. If you hear any noises, that's it. Are you guys working from home? I am working from home 24-7. My work has actually announced that we'll be home at least until June. I think it's going to be longer than that um, because we have had people in my office who have tested positive for the virus, and I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I can do 100% of my of my job from home. So Caitlin is like mixed bag. She's in the office a lot of the time and then home some of the time. Patron is overrated. I agree. It is. I'm going to be drunk after this. And then if you feel like you have too much lime, you can just add, like I do like a tablespoon of simple syrup. Very little. Okay. I accidentally put in way too much tequila. Okay. Casamigos. I like Casamigos, but it's more expensive than this. We are back. What are you drinking? Uh, I just threw something together. It is absolute grapefruit. Okay. With polar blackberry clementine seltzer. There is a, like a spring pack from like BJ's or Costco. Don't Maybe buy it. <laughs> don't buy it except I like the blackberry clementine a lot. You know Mike drank all of ours? Really? He actually liked every single flavor except for the apple one. Or no, the grape Black one. No, he didn't like that. The grape. Blackberry clementine is my favorite but it's in a pack of like a bunch of gross ones. Yeah. But yeah, I made a big one and I brought reinforcements. You brought in reinforcements. Yes, yeah, so I can make a second one. Good for you. And I brought a snack. Strawberries? Yeah. I got really beautiful strawberries at the store the other day. Yeah, my mom got these for me, which I was really thankful for because I wouldn't buy them myself, probably. Probably. No! <gasps> Who wants to see the furry baby? Oh. Come here. Come here. Oh, come say hi to all your fans. I think my across the street neighbor. Oh, my. Open. What? You think they what? No, I forgot my windows open and I just said it really loud. I think my across the street neighbor is an actual hoe. Well, it's good for her or him. <clears throat> He's in his like 50s, I think. And in the last two days, and I have wasn't even really here today, in the last two days, I have seen four women go in and out of his house. That's a lot. You don't think they're family members? I do not. They are all young women. Hey, Barkley, uh, where's Caitlin? Where's Caitlin? Barkley! Where is she? Barkley, say hi! 
<laughs> Farklesworth, give us your beauty secrets. I know, honestly, what's your skin routine? Danielle, what are your tips for growing your hair? Don't do anything. Right? I don't really think. I will say, my hair grows freakishly fast. A lot of people have told me that my entire life. It just is what it is, I think. But do you really think there's much you can do to make your hair grow faster? No, I don't think, I don't believe in the supplement thing. Like, I don't think if you take the vitamins, your hair is going to grow faster. It's going to grow at the rate that it wants to grow at. I believe that. I don't think, I think probably, like, just health in general contributes to hair growth. But I think that you can, like, drastically change what you're doing to make it grow faster. Okay, bye, everybody. It was good to see you. I miss I miss bombing all the videos all the time, but I'm doing good. I've given lots of walks and so many cookies. I'm so fat. Have you gained the coronavirus nineteen? No, because he's getting walks every single day. The COVID nineteen, I guess. Yeah. Um. Somebody said we live near each other, and how do we meet? We do live near each other, not near enough. I know. We're about, what do you think, 15, 20 minutes from each other? Yeah, but it's only like four miles. Yeah. Um, so we live near each other, but uh, we met on the sideline of a football game. Mm -hmm. We did. I meet all the um, very important people in my life at a football game. That's what Caitlin says. Exactly. It's, a good, it's good luck for you. It must so be. So what would be a compilation of Barkley footage? Uh, okay. <laughs> like the Barclays greatest hits. Well, I always wanted to film a day in the life of my dog video, so maybe that can happen. Like I don't I don't even no people need to be in it, it just needs to be Barkley. I think people would watch it. It's insane. Uh yeah, Katie said he's so emotive with his hands. He really is. And with his eyes. He's a dog. He has claws. Someone said the clip of him being sassy with the ball from the last vlog. So I had seen the egg challenge going around TikTok. But the dogs that, like, treat these eggs like little babies. Yeah, like, I don't trust my dog. I gave him a clementine, and I will say, he did not pierce it with his teeth. How do they know? What do you have to lose? With an egg? Yeah. I mean, we would have to do it outside. Mm-hmm. That's fine. We'll try it. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll film it. Barkley, you want to try it? He said, yes. Sure. I think it's just the size. What is Mike making for dinner? Mike, what are you making for dinner? Spike, potato, and spinach. Ribeye steak, baked mm. potato with salt. Yeah. He crusted in salt. And we're going to have sauteed spinach. This is not going to be good for my blood pressure. This is not going to be good for his blood pressure, he says. Not good. Not good. Do we care? <laughs> I was about to say since when? I just actually drooled. Oh, finally, it's you. I had that. I had steak last night and roasted Brussels sprouts. From where? My mother. Oh, Teresa brought me meat. She did? Yeah. That's so nice. She actually got a bunch of stuff because she knows, she knows like the stores down here. She shops during like the old people time. Mm -hmm. So she picked me up a bunch of stuff and we went and did like a drug deal in the parking lot and exchange and she gave me some food i gave her some like cuttings from some of my plants that she wants That's and then nice. she gave groceries yeah it was really nice yeah so i did steaks last night on the grill and i she also bought me a bunch of ferns so oh. i have those in the back patio my patio looks so cute right now take a photo i will i'll have to i got a new hanging plant today at lowe's He's, mas he's massaging that ribeye. The ribeye, how many inches thick is that? Like two and a half inches? You're kidding. Yeah. Come, bring, bring it over here and show it, honey. Oh, if you're going to you're gonna be shocked. Show it to our viewers. Show it to our viewers, Mike. Oh, he's he's salting it right now. He'll be over in a second. I, my mouth's one, watering. I want to eat my steak so bad right now. Uh, listen, I've been craving red meat lately. Don't even say I'm fucking pregnant because I'm not. No, I've been doing the same thing, and I think I but I think I've been craving it because I haven't been eating it. <gasps> oh, why? I want it. I Look want at it. that. The 
those are going to be so easy to keep, like, a really beautiful medium rare. This was one steak. I was like, that is not one steak. That's at least two steaks. Ugh, that's so good. Mike, show us your mate. <laughs> show us your mate. You've already spent it, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> that was a message from Lisa. Lisa so. wants to see your meat, Mike. You know I love a good, uh, little flop. Are you sure those are ribeye? Are you are you sure us the ribeye? Yeah, it's a ribeye. It's I mean according to Costco it's a ribeye. It looks very marbled like a ribeye. It's a thick it's one. It's a ribeye. It's, it's, it's a thick bitch. She thick. Also this meat shortage. I don't I don't think that I ever realized how much I love meat until someone was like, by the way, all the meat's gonna be gone. Yeah. No, I agree because actually last week I didn't have any have any proteins. And I hated it. I actually found that I felt like I couldn't even eat anything else I had because in my mind they were like sides. Mm -hmm. So I made this broccoli to go with meat, and then uh, I didn't even eat the broccoli because I just felt like I didn't have a meal. I need to. I need to get over that. I need to like add some fucking beans to it and call yeah. it a day. But yeah, I had a hard time last week. Do you know what I'm doing tomorrow? What? The Jeffels and the Goosengles are playing chopped. Oh, that's fun. So we're going to drop off three ingredients to their house. They're going to drop off three ingredients to our house, and we have 45 minutes to prepare our meal. Oh, I like that. So uh, Tish is actually downstairs doing a root bake. Oh, fun. So they all went out and got the same ingredients, and they picked the same recipe, and they're on, like, a Zoom call, and they're all baking together. That's what we should do. We should cook. Like we that. should, and I will say they picked a hell of. It was like a fox cake. It was so it's so like Instagrammy, Pinteresty, fancy. I was like, I've never even done that. Like, what the fuck? What ingredients should I pick? I need your help. I need everybody's help. What ingredients should I give them? I'm trying to pick things that I have here. Mustard. I thought that. So one of the, one of the people in their household is a vegetarian, so I have to keep that in mind. Yes. So no, uh, mustard. I wanted to do like pickle juice, right? Beans. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I want to make two of them like very cohesive, but then one of them be like a wild card. Because I feel like Katie is gonna think of really obscure stuff, and I'm gonna not know what the fuck to do with it. Right. Uh, you could do like the chipotle peppers in a can uh, with the adobo sauce. Oh yeah. Okay. You could do. I keep wanting to pick meat things. I know. I have a can of, like, chili beans that's, like, mixed pinto and kidney, and they have, like, spice in them already. Yeah. We don't have tofu. I don't want to go buy tofu. What about... Onions, pasta, pickle juice, and beans. Honestly, those were the things that we thought of. Just a girl times four. What, or, like, mini corns. <gasps> mini corns. I love mini corns. Mini corn's like a very weird one. Or like hearts of palm or artichoke hearts. Do you know I wouldn't know what to do with hearts of palm? Oh. So the only thing I can't pick for them are eggs or meat. And then yeah. for our nose, Mike said anything like ranch dressing he can't do. <laughs> and I said no canned fish. That was my only no. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Wow. You could get like a pickle. You could get like pickled pig's feet. You could get. I love pickled pig's feet. <laughs> you could get snails in a can. That one would be really mean if someone gave you snails. I don't think she would do that. No, you could do like a really weird cheese. I thought about that. I should give them a weird cheese. Like Maybe a really, like a funky blue. Yeah, you know it would be really rude. Not that I'm suggesting you do this, but if you literally got like three highly packaged and processed things like Velveeta cheese oh that's a good idea actually to like cut through or like but yeah I will also just because it's funny like Velveeta cheese I don't know uh sorry bros I'm watching Family Feud FYI it's spot on commentary on race relations in America today you're trying to think of gross condiments question mark oh. no any anything any like if you've ever watched Chopped on the Food Network, they open up a basket and it's like random ingredients and you have to think on the fly what you're going to make with it. You can throw in any of the stuff in your pantry, but you have to highlight those three ingredients as well. So we're doing it with our friends tomorrow. 
I don't know what they're going to pick. They don't know what we're going to pick. And we're going to drop them off at our respective houses and cook a meal in 45 minutes. What if you did, like, what if you did, like, a sweet thing? We thought about that. I was like, we should give them, like, a pack of hot chocolate or something. That or they would like, those mini donuts. Well, we have cheese danishes. I could give them a cheese danish. That would be so fucking weird. Like, what would you even do? I would make it into, like, a crouton, I guess. I was thinking uh, you, I could, like, fry something, like, m mash it and then, like, pan fry something in it. Yeah, like, maybe bake it until it's totally crispy and then, uh, like, food process it so it's breadcrumbs. And then you could just make... Just use the filling. Or just use the filling. People do that. Uh -huh. Sriracha, spam, potted meat. Potted meat. Are you from West Virginia? Because that is what we called it. Potted meat. <laughs> Cereal. Oh, cereal is a good idea. I have cereal. Cereal is a, co a cool one. You could like do a lot with that. Okay, that's a good one. Um. Yeah. If you have any suggestions, I'm I'm open. Oh my god. So wait. So that you're you're going to make the food and then who's eating it? We're going to eat it. You flip it back or no? You have to eat we eat our own stuff and we have to okay. just be really honest. Got it. Like, if Mike's is better, I'm going to say Mike's is better. I'm sure his will be better. Oh, I thought you Did you see that? I Count Chocula, Artichoke, and Fava Beans. Can you Wait. get it What? Yeah, Danielle, you still have to eat that. Well, no, I'm saying we're giving it to Katie and Toby. They would have to eat it. Yeah, I forgot that. That, that fucking sucks. You hate those people if you give them that. Yeah, we might lose some friends. We might lose friends, yeah. I, I, I would not want to be your friend if you did that to me. I want to do, like, I have pickled beets. I have canned corn. I have canned pineapple. I have beans, tomatoes. I have a lot of that stuff. I just but can't I, give them meat. I didn't realize, yeah, I didn't realize that fun. you and Mike were competing against each other. Yes, we are. So whatever they give us, we're splitting evenly. And we have to cook at the same time. We have to share two burners. We're going to have a pot of water already boiling. We're going to have our oven preheated to 350. That's hilarious. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I hope you have, like, a fully stocked pantry and refrigerator right now for, like, all the extra ingredients. What if you're, like, one egg short? Who's going to murder who? Oh, I think we have, like, four dozen eggs. <laughs> so when my mom gave me those groceries, she was like, do you need eggs? How many eggs do you want? And I was like, oh, I want a lot of eggs. And she's like, so, like, a dozen? And I was like... No, lady, I go through, like, a minimum of 18 eggs a week as a single person. I eat a shitload of eggs. I need so, she gave, so she gave me the full flat from Costco. It was, like, 30 eggs. Good for you. Yes, I fucking love them. They're good hard-boiled. They're good in the morning. I do. I credit not gaining as much weight as I thought I would to eating a bigger breakfast in the morning because then I sometimes forget about lunch. I forget about snacking altogether. Yeah. Okay. I definitely... Ooh. I just love hard boiled eggs so much. Me too. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What? Yeah. Hi. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit what? Hit it. Huh? Hit your move. Hit, hit your mark. Hit, what? Like, it's a Hi. runway, babe. Hit your mark. Oh, no. I, I created the runway. Can you do, like, a dab or something? Can you do, like, a TikTok dance? I'm making him learn the TikTok shuffle. The, that's the foot thing, right? Yes. I would love to do that, actually. There was another one that I saw that I was like, I could do this. But I, I don't could think do it's this. Good. Could you film this for a vlog? Oh, for the cooking. Sure. I was going to do, um, like, an Instagram live. Well, yeah, we can figure it out. I'll figure it out. I got that really cool tripod. <laughs> Let me know so I can tune in. Okay. I will. Yeah, it's going to be tomorrow night. We've decided on tomorrow for both families. I just need to know what to give them. I don't want to be too mean, but I don't want it to make it easy. We'll figure it out. We'll get a bunch, like a handful of things together and someone else can pick. I like to pop the pickle juice and whatever the other thing was. The beans. And that's so funny because those were three things we talked about. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a good one. Mike. Caitlin. Danielle. Costco had Famous Dave's pickles today. No. -uh. Guess how many jars Mike bought? I was going to say how many. Three. Is that right? Three of the massive. I should have got four. He should have got four. He's already upset. 
It's ding and dingus. I don't think you like us very much. You can bump right off. Yeah, FG4, Cyrod. C-Rod, right your, your way out. That wasn't a good one. I'm fine. It's ding and dingus, although that's not exactly like what my mother would say. It's ding and dingus. Am I ding or dingus? You can, you can pick. I'll be dingus. Oh, I was going to say I'd be dingus. Caitlin oh, balloon bombed my house today. I did. Well, it's very I went, one of our very good friend, Sentimental Fools, she's been doing these wonderful balloon stoop pop-ups all over town just to, like, spread joy and cheer and all of that. And so I got her to balloon Danielle's house today. And I was in the line at the gas station with Mike, and I was like, oh, my God, we had a ring notification on a Sunday. That's weird. Because usually it's, like, the mailman. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, my God, and so we in our house. Oh. <laughs> oh. Somebody said, they said, I'm kidding, love you guys. <laughs> but we are ding and dingus. I mean, it's not, my mom would say we were dumb and dumber. Or Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's what she would usually say. I mean. I would call us, like, asshat one and asshat two. <laughs> Pretty much. I agree with that. Mike, what would you call us? Oh, boy. Um, oh, boy. I don't know. Uh, you gotta give me a, a second to think. He needs a second to think. Okay. One. Second's over. What's your answer? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> okay, I'm I give you some extra time. My cheeks hurt. It's like the lime juice and the laughing. Oh, it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe the tequila? Well, yeah, it's a lot of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you drank so much. I need. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, what's our name? He doesn't want to make us mad. Well, I'm not in the house. Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. I never, I never really watched it because they, they were stupid. But they were rude. Like Lucy and know. Ethel. We're Lucy oh, and Ethel. Yeah. That's a good one. I never watched Ren and Stimpy because I wasn't allowed. I wasn't either. It was forbidden. For true. I wasn't allowed to watch that. The Simpsons, South Park, any of that. Mike says he wasn't even allowed to watch it. So why are you calling us that? Am I Ren or Stimpy? Oh, I'm the fat one. I don't know what, what's the. I don't know what the difference. I don't know who's Ren and who's Stimpy. I don't know either. Although that makes me think of Clueless, because she's watching it. Have you watched anything good lately? Anybody? I, oh, I thought you were asking me. Well, you, you, any, anyone, you're anyone. Uh, so I've been watching Love Island. Oh, I know that. I'm really fucking into it. I super love it. I also really, really like Ozark. I don't think I'll like it. I love it. I didn't think I was going to like it either, but my mom was insistent. And my mom, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't like something that I wouldn't like. Like, she's more sensitive than I am, so I would. she would probably dislike it before I did. Um, and I'm not even kidding. I watched, like, one episode, and I was like, I'm hooked. I'm in. So we just really? finished season. Yeah. We just finished. I love Jason Bateman. I do, too. And Will we like it? Yes. He's creepy to me. He would be a pass. Ever since Jason Juno. Bateman? Ever since Juno, he freaked me the fuck out. Like, fucking no. Kind of like a pedophile, but not. Yeah, he was a, he was a little creepy. Oh, that's a man in the street. Oh, no. Someone said they they hated their... They had a Fitbit. It died. They got an Apple Watch. Hated it. And they went back oh, to their Fitbit. You tell the scooter. Give me one second. Okay. The Michael Jordan docuseries. Mike has been watching that. Oh, wow, you guys are coming through with the recommendations. I just finished Shit's Creek. Uh, I did a lot of crying. I did a lot of crying. He's okay. Okay, so I was afraid that Ozark would be too dark for me. So it's dark, but it's not... But I like dark. Dark, and there's only, and there's only like, moments of violence. Like, there is violence. Are you itching your nipple? I mean, it is fucking itchy. <laughs> Um, there's moments of, like, graphic violence, which I will say sometimes is a little jarring, but it's not every episode. Is it any more violent than Game of Thrones? 
No. Okay. Well, then I'm in. Mike, and I know Mike will like it. I started watching it one time at the gym and couldn't follow along. So I started at the gym. It. Fuck you at the gym. I will say there is less uh, graphic sex than I would like. I would like to increase the graphic sex. You know what I rewatched the other day? Yes. Gone Girl. Ooh. I have only seen it once. Remember when she slits his throat while they're fucking? Like, no. slits his fucking throat? I did not remember that. Thank you for the reminder. Blood all over the goddamn place. Yeah. Oh. I watched Boys in the Hood today. That was what I did. There was blood all over the place in that. Weeds. Oh, my God. Mike and I watched Weeds from the beginning. No, Ever since. That was all you. Oh, that was I all me. Like I loved Weeds. Loved it. <laughs> I was really into Silas. I, same. I would fuck Silas all day. Same. That's also why I like uh, Tate from American Horror Story. I feel like they look similar. They do. Whatever that guy's name is. Evan, Evan Roberts? No. Evan something. So a bunch of people said the other day that we should watch Good Girls. Oh, I have watched a couple episodes of it, and it is good. I like it, but for some reason I just didn't go back to it. I don't okay. know why. But I'm obsessed with the girl, her, Meg. Meg Whitman, maybe? May Meg Whitman. May Whitman. May Whitman. I love her from Parenthood. Have you watched Parenthood? No. Caitlin, you have to watch Parenthood. That is like an OG. I cannot believe you've never watched it. You're going to be addicted from the first season. And there's a lot of episodes to watch. I've also never watched uh, This Is Us. Don't fuck around with that. It's too really? sad. <gasps> Katie says, Magnum P.I. Huh. You will on. get wet. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get wet for Magnum P.I.? <laughs> You'll get wet because your husband looks like him. He does? Driver? That's Tom Selleck, isn't it? Huh? Although Magnum P.I. was, I don't know. I think Magnum P.I. is Tom Selleck. Right. We don't know. We don't know. You will get wet. I just like that disclaimer. Parenthood is a cry fest. But it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to rewatch it. Well, it's funny because I also love listening to Armchair Expert with Zach Shepard. And yeah. he told us talk about it. And then I listen to the George Bryant episode. He has every it. single person from Parenthood on there. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love know, it. I know May Whitman and him are BFFs. And May Whitman is great in the show. And they're all great. They're all great. Oh, my God. They're all great. They're all so good. Oh. What's what you doing over there? <coughs> A little lemon. I haven't tried it yet. It's so good. <coughs> Although, I will say, I feel like these weren't as filled as the other ones. Oh, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. I remember starting to watch that because I swear my mom mentioned it what she did not mention is that that has a lot of graphic fucking sex in it Parenthood is way better than This Is Us. You're right Lisa it totally is and Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce has Cuddy from House and House is what Mike and I are re-watching right now which you know Caitlin and I would totally smash House I think Mike would smash House. Yeah. Mike Smash or pass? Yeah. What? Wait, do the do the whole like, like cast of house real quick. Omar Epps. Smash. 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 That Australian guy, pass. He's too the... Chase. I don't like him. Well, Cameron. I mean, I, I'd fuck him, he wouldn't fuck me, but sure, whatever. Cameron. Yes, yeah, smash. No, she annoys the shit out of me. I would smash Olivia Wilde, who's what's her name in the show? Seven? Thirteen. Thirteen. Smash her. And then, like, Harold and Kumar people, whoever they are. They're both on it? No, one of them is. Kumar. Kumar's on it. Wait, a lot of people are sec first thing, seconding, and thirding Superstore, which I've never even heard of. That's the one with America Ferrera, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. And she works at, like, a like Walmart. Walmart or, like, a dollar store type of thing. I, I always wondered if it, it was, like, the TV version of the movie where... That woman lives in a Walmart. Oh, I love that movie. Me too. What's it, it called? Oh, that's Natalie Portman. Natalie, Natalie Portman. Portman. Give birth in a... Walmart. Did they ever make a movie that was the 
like a movie adaptation of the book, The Mysterious Files of Basil E. Frank Weiler, or whatever. I don't know. That's where the kids live in the museum. I don't think so. Uh, do you know what book I'm talking about, though? No. Oh my god, it was like one of my favorite books as a kid. These two kids sneak away and they hide at the museum of Nat the natural history museum in new york and it's like such a good book but it's such a good book to be made into a movie and i don't know why they haven't done it well they made night at the museum but this is like kids and they're trying to so it's like both a little bit gritty because they're trying to actually survive and they were kids and packed like one pair of underwear and like not enough food so there's, there's doing that, but then there also is just the childlike... No, someone said they did make that a movie. Was it any good? I, okay, wait, I, now I want to go look. From the mixed up files. From the mixed up files. How is it... How have I not seen it? I... Put it on your library list and just read it. It might. It's probably dumb as an adult, but as a kid it was so fucking Boy, good. Boy, it sounds like something I would love. Metropolitan Museum of Art, not the natural history one. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's so good. It won a Newbery Medal in 1968. <gasps> oh. But wait, why did they make it? I'm getting ready to do something I've not done in probably five or six years, which is read a book on my Kindle. Oh, you have a Kindle? I have a Kindle, but I also have my iPad. I'm just going to read it on my iPad because it's bigger. Um. But it was only $1.99, and you guys know I can't get to the library right now. Oh, oh, so they made it a movie, but they made it in 1973? Huh? Is there a new version? No, 1995. Oh, man. I fucking love that book so much. I like I liked this other one about this kid who ran away and like made a house in a tree. I know I reread that one multiple times. I read Chocolate Covered Ants. Did you? And I feel like that was one of my favorite books and no one ever read it. I've never heard of it. I think there was a character called Bartholomew in it, which I loved. Naturally. Is that little sound the sound of somebody commenting? Is that yes. what it is? Yes. Oh. Okay, wait, where did I go? YouTube. Here it is. Jim references it in the office in the Take Your Daughter to Work Day. Oh. Here's an unpopular <gasps> opinion. I don't like the office. Oh, yeah, that is unpopular. Good thing you're not trying to online date now because that is every single motherfucking dude's favorite show. But I never watched a single episode until 2019. And I don't feel like that was the time to get involved in in a, in a series like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, where the red fern grows. <gasps> oh, my God, the book and the movie. Where the red fern grows, they both make me cry. Matilda. Matilda's so good. I feel like Matilda the movie is probably... Oh my god, 50-year-old neighbor is not... Sure. <laughs> Eating something. I need pizza. It smells so good in here. I need... It. Can someone make me dinner? Um, I thought... But anyway, sorry. So I think Matilda the movie is like the best movie adaptation of a book I've ever seen. I love that movie and the book. Like, I have no problems with that movie, I don't think. I'm like, everybody looks exactly like I thought they would have. Miss Honey is a dream. I don't know. I just feel like most movie adaptations are garbage. I will say, I've watched, I have watched one movie that I thought was better than the book. Which was what? Do you know what it is? One movie. Oh, yeah. Cold Mountain. Cold Mountain. Good job, Mike! Yes. My husband with the win. Good job, babes. I can't believe he knew that. It's not a very good book. No? No. I st I have we still need to watch it together. I've never seen it. Caitlin, we watched it during your family vacation. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was a bear. No, there wasn't. Nobody, nobody's murdered by that's, a bear? That's the reference. That's the revenant. Revenant, whatever. Oh, no, I've never seen that, though. Does someone freeze to death in, like, a shelter? I, okay, we watched it. I remember. Edmund, I'll marry you, I'll marry you, I'll marry you. Oh, my God. That's one of my top three favorite movies of all time. I forgot about that fucking Renee Zellweger up there playing potatoes or whatever dumb shit she does.
Yes. Oh, I want to watch that movie. Her <laughs> accent is so wild, though. I. It and was she crazy. does this the whole time. <laughs> it was like she. Had... <laughs> I don't even know. It she used like to be great. Her... Oh, it she used to be so great. It was like part of her face was paralyzed. Her first scene in that movie, she wakes. She just walks up and cracks the neck of a rooster. I hate a flogging rooster. <laughs> if you've never seen Cold Mountain, everybody in the comments right now, do yourself a favor and watch that movie because A, Jude Law is in it, B, Nicole Kidman is in it, and C, Renee Zellweger is in it. Oh, well, Walk to Remember was so much better than the book. I didn't read the book. I didn't read the book either, but I loved the movie. <laughs> oh, God, Shane West. Shane Ooh. West. Why? And now you look at him and you're like, why did I ever think he was he so was a bad high? boy. But he, I, like, he's not even that cute. When he, like, worked on his car and his friends made fun of him for being in that play. Because he was both, like, emotional and mans masculine. Masculine. Uh, Good in Bed by Jennifer Weiner is amazing. I love Jennifer Weiner. I love Jennifer Weiner. Little Fires Everywhere. I did not like Little Fires Everywhere. And actually, I couldn't, I had to stop watching it because I found that the, the, the show version was so different from the book. I've read that a bunch. Even the casting is, like, bizarre. Right, that's, well, so my thing is, is just make a different movie. Like, do not call it Little Fires Everywhere if, what? Sally. Sally, you're going to need to go into detail. We got some questions. Could you please email us at it's our time of the month at gmail.com? Um, like, it, it, it's just not the same story. Like, do you have if, Little Fires Everywhere? If I do, I'll, I will give it to you. Okay, because I haven't I'll, read it. Also, I think Katie accidentally has something I was supposed to give to you today. I got to text her and remember to ask her to pull it out. Katie. Who's mine? Wait, because you're going to see her tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I gotta text her. Uh, anyway, but yeah, it just it. I wish I hadn't have read the book before I watched the show. Because I've heard a lot of people talk really well about the show. Yeah, because I think the show is amazing, and I think that they've added in additional storylines that I think are important and and poignant, and you know, definitely make you feel things. But it's just not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. So I kind of, I, I, yeah, I just wish I hadn't read the book already. Because I was all excited. I was like, I really liked the book. Yeah. So I was excited to see the show. And then I was like, wait a second. That didn't happen. That's yeah. not how that worked. That's a totally different, like, all the relationship dynamics were so different. So it's not even like, you know, they changed, uh, you know, the, the ethnicity of a character. It was literally just like, there's a mother-daughter. In the book, the mother-daughter were this way. In the show, they were like wildly different okay like, just it changes the storyline and it changes even though the events were s the same mm -hmm. it changes how the character approaches and then is affected by these events and you're, it's it was just confusing to me okay so maybe it's good that i haven't read it yet yeah i think you should watch the show i think you'll like it okay it's, and it's beautiful and like it's a yeah it's a lot but i just didn't like comparing them there was something else that i thought Katie says, I prefer not to feel feelings. Wait, I don't see that comment. <laughs> she just said, I prefer it, not to I feel feelings. That's why I have a therapist, because Katie. that's exactly what I would say. Katie, 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 I feel all the feelings all the fucking time. I am the, I think I'm the most emotional person I know. I cry all the time. I cry way less than I used to, I will say that. Caitlin, I cried. I like... <laughs> Did that during Mike's fucking trail running docu series the other night? I cried today during Boys in the Hood, just like two tears, but I cried. W. P. Inman was my great great grandfather. Stop <laughs> it! No way. That no. makes me want to cry. Inman, Inman was Jude Law. I marry you. I marry you. I marry you. Ada Monroe. <laughs> You are going to cry. I want to, Sally, we need to have like a big conversation about this because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I've loved it for 
ever since it came out. It was my favorite movie when it came out. Danielle, I wish I could show you this fucking man on his roof. He's on his neighbor's roof now. He's not even on his own roof. Why, Why is he on his neighbor's roof? roof? But like he is like dad bod as shit, shirtless, backwards hat, fashion sunglasses. I'm so worried he can still hear me somehow, even though it's like. Our uh, Hernandez so- says, if you believe in zodiac stuff, I'm the sun and the moon sign cancer. Hey girl, me fucking too. My friends say I'm basically <laughs> all feelings. <laughs> I feel all the things, and everything makes me cry. Happy, sad, I cry over everything. That's exactly how I feel. I'm the, uh, what's, what's her name? Sagittarius. That, well, yes, no, I meant, like, Kristen, when Kristen married to Dax Shepard. Oh, oh, yes, when she sees the sloths. When she describes her emotional range and That's how me. your emotions go from a 1 to a 10, and she says she's not between a 3 and a 5, she's crying, or maybe it was, like, a Four and a seven? I don't remember. I'm like, that, between a four and a six, I'm good. That's how I feel. Like, the other day, he played that song and I cried because it was just, like, nostalgia. And it was so funny that he would pick this song that I love so much and he didn't even know. And it was just, like, I remember listening to this. Well, it was a whole thing. And I cried. Yeah. But I wasn't sad. I'm the same way. I cry all the time. Not yeah. just when I'm sad. But Mike will look at me and he'll be like, you're going to cry, aren't you? I'm like, just get ready for it. <laughs> Just get ready. Prepare yourself. I cried over a Windex commercial, and I'll say that's my lowest low. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the dumbest thing I've ever cried at. I mean, the most glaring one is when I cried because my dad ate my egg roll, but... Oh, well, yeah, that was a lot of other shit, too, I think. Well, that was a lot, mostly hormonal, I believe. I used to make fun of my mom because she cried over everything. And I would be like, Wait. are you Wait. really going to cry again? Lynn's just said, I'm a Sagittarius. I cry when I hear myself cry. <laughs> Someone said they're going to pray for Mike. Why are you praying for Mike? Because he has to live with me? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Probably. Oh, God. Sometimes he just looks at me. Or sometimes he just brings me tissues ahead of time because he knows I'm going to cry. <laughs> Call the midwife. I love Call the midwife. Really? Because I've almost watched it a lot, but I've never done it. I love it. Oh, yeah? Do you fall over shit to change the channel when the sad dog commercial comes? Oh, my God. We can't talk oh. about the sad dog commercial. Fuck off, Sarah McLaughlin. No. What are you even good for? They have other ones now without her in it. Eric, oh, Eric I haven't McCormick. seen them. Who? Eric McCormick. Eric McCormick is in one now, Mike says. Like Will of Willie Grace? I can't believe he just knew who that was. Just teasing. Oh. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make another drink and I had to tell myself not to. Why? I don't know what that means. Oh. Lois, low cry. I broke into tears in the grocery aisle when they didn't have the salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> Listen, I would cry over that, too, because Caitlin and I really love our salt and vinegar chips. Although, wait, if you like the salt and vinegar, well, where do you live? Because if you don't live near Royal Farms, then you're not going to find the ones, the best salt and vinegar chips ever. But they are, that's where they are. They're the Royal Farms store brand. I would say I cry almost every single day. Oh, I don't I don't do that anymore. I used to. But I feel fine. That's the thing. I feel fine. Somebody asked favorite East Coast beach to vacation. That's all you girl. You have a favorite. Uh North Carolina. Forever and always. Well, Had to cancel one. Beaches. Huh? Which beach? Which beach? Yeah. If you don't want people, Emerald Isle. If you want more shit to do, I would say duck, nags head. Kerala, that area. Oh, I'm still so sad. I, I really, truly believe that I won't be going on any sort of vacation until 2021. I agree with that. I think a lot of people are going to be like that. Yeah, and I saw, like, Alicia pushed her wedding. And then... Um, Alicia pushed her wedding, but my sister-in-law still hasn't pushed hers. I know. I don't think, there's no way it's going to happen. I just can't imagine. I don't think it will be on their call. I think it will be on a vendor call. 
Sure. Oh, definitely. definitely. That's, That's what I mean. Like, I don't think it's going to be that. Like, I think they'll end up being forced to cancel it because everybody else. I do too. And I don't want to be like a negative Debbie Downer. I'm trying to be a realist, but I'm like, if my friends are canceling are weddings you saying my family's in October, I feel like August is just not realistic right now. Yeah. yeah. Laguna but, Beach, hell fucking yeah. Katie, we won't come visit you. Are you fucking kidding? Oh. But I just think, for me, like, it's nothing against the wedding. I want the weddings to happen. I want life to happen. But I really think at this point, like, summer 2020 is canceled. I know. Yeah. Oh, when is the wedding date? August 26th. Something like that. It's, something la last it's last weekend in August. Like, but I mean, it's, it's not a small wedding. It is a very large wedding. And I, ju I guess I just worry that a lot of people would decide not to come. You know? Like, that's the other thing you have to think about. I, can I don't think that some... Like, I wouldn't really go to a 300-person wedding in August. Can I decide not to go? Mike is officiating the wedding, and I'm in the wedding. <laughs> Wait, so if other people cancel, can I be your plus one? Yes. Yeah. Like, if they're just trying to fill seats, I'm an excellent seat filler. Perfect. I'll tell them. I'm a really good dancer. I know you are. And you look Thanks. great in a dress. For sure. I mean, I really think I shine in a dress. And we're getting our own place, so you can crash with us. That would be fun. We can. Barkley will be there, though. You get Y'all gonna get a king bed for the four of us. For the four of us. Yeah, you can bring... I'm... The head of your West Coast fan club. <laughs> but, hell yeah, K Katie. I think you're my new favorite. I think we need to hang out. I did too. Katie Willis. We love a good Katie. Also, we get a. Can we get a quarantine favorites? Yeah, I've been I've been uh, compiling my Amazon purchases since quarantine. Quarantine Amazon purchases. So I haven't really been doing any Amazon purchases. I've, like, so, but for me, the only thing that's really been holding me back is because I've been, like, am I going to get laid off? Am I going to get laid off? Am I going to get laid off? Yeah. So, like, every time I go to get something, I have to, like, justify exit it. out. I have to exit out because I'm, like, that's, that's a crazy, like, I would feel so bad if in six weeks I get laid off and then I look back and I spend $250 on Amazon shit. But then you just come live with us. It'll be fine. No, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> It's not how any of this works. Uh, but so, yeah, so the only things that I've, well, I did order, so I will feel real stupid if I bought $40 worth of hair dye and I get laid off. But whatever. And Honestly, I thought it would be more than that. I'm surprised it was just so affordable. It was on sale. And then I bought a loft order, which I will feel bad about because it's like all cute spring summer shit and like unnecessary. Uh, I haven't bought clothes. I will say that. I bought I'm, a pair of leggings and a pair of pajamas, but I feel like I'm in that shit every day. I got a I got a beautiful fucking coat from Loft for 1988 or like 1994. It was final sale, but it's a fucking winter coat that's pink. <laughs> Wait. Sally says we should all go visit Katie next summer, and Katie says we're gonna hang for a show. I come to Baltimore every Thanksgiving. Meet you at Rofo. <laughs> yes. And then someone says, not that you need permission, D, but does Mike give you a hard time when you go shopping? Yes and no is he's, how I say it. He's an encourager lately. Yeah, because I feel like there have been times, but he'll like joke about it and be like oh my god what did you guys get yeah but he didn't really he's never given there have only been probably two times in our marriage where he said to me babe i've checked the bank account and we just have to take it easy <laughs> which yeah. i appreciate and i respect 100 percent because i'm very bad with money caitlin knows this i don't look at our bank account and it's not a good trait that I have. I will say, though, that today he did encourage me to buy an Apple Watch, so I feel like we must be fine. <laughs> you must be fine. Yeah. Also, we just celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary, and he didn't have to buy me anything, so I think this is his present to me. That's a hell of a present. That's a great... That's, three, that's four times the price of the present you got me. 
What did I buy you? Parachutes. I bought him a pair of shoes, he says. Uh, so, uh, what color hair dye did you buy? I got it from Lime Crime. I got the color Sushi, which is like a peachy pink color. I got the color Cloud, which is a blue color. And then I got a periwinkle color I can't remember the name of. It's but pretty purpley. Yeah, the purpley and the blue ones, they're the ones that scare me the most because that shit sticks in your hair for I'm so I'm the most long. excited for those. Yeah, I'm, I really want to do a blue one. But I, I think they're be going to look better than the pink, pink. Huh? I think they're going to look better than the pink. You think? Yeah, I do. I, well, I, I think, think it's going to look bad. I think it's going to look like dirty dishwater. Alicia uh, wants to know, is Mike going to do the Spartan race in Vermont in September? And will you guys go again? My husband is doing it this year, and I want to go after hearing about how much, you fun, you, how much fun you two had. Probably not. Now we're going to be away for Katie and Oh, we were going to be away in Italy for a wedding, but that's probably not happening. Depends on what that 50 days. I, I mean, I don't know if it's not happening, but I would say it's probably not happening. Yeah. Um, but he said no. He's probably not going to sign up for that. Oh, but I would really love... Yeah, I wanna, that was my I favorite back, trip. Me too. I want to go back ASAP. Me too. Uh, do you girls get dressed when you're working from home? I have a hard time looking put together when nobody sees me, but I also feel like a slob. Oh, my stay-at-home mom clothes aren't cute. I feel the same way. I look like trash 24-7. My pants that I wear on the daily are see-through, and I finally realized it the other day. So I ordered new pajama pants, but no, I don't get dressed. Um, I haven't really been working from home, so I get I still get dressed. I will say I have relaxed my go to work wear a little bit um it's like i don't know it's just a slightly more casual than i have been when there are other people in the office speaking of which it must be after work because dee's taking her bra off well i can't believe i ever put one on for this <laughs> right it's all girls here we're fine you can't even see my titties exactly uh online shopping is so slow i'll be back to work before i get my parcels that's true I'm grateful that we can even still order stuff. But I yeah, feel like my stuff's been pretty quick. I think the only one that's taken a long time has been the Sephora order for me. Like Loft came quickly. I will say I ordered like a handmade mask, but then that, that's really slow, but I'm not surprised. Mainly just Sephora is so delicious. I ordered something else that I thought was really fast. I don't know. It might have been Target. 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 Sister Connie, do you know this every other day? I'm sure she still fit into them. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I just am not even given a fucking shit. I no. I saw like I saw a meme that said that showed a picture. Maybe it was like a cracked but a uh, cracked biscuit dough container, and it said like me fitting back into my work clothes. I haven't tried jeans on in two months. Really. Not once. You haven't put jeans on in two months? Why would I? I don't know. I don't know. Like when you wear the lows or something. I don't know. I'm wearing athletic shorts, which is what I'm wearing now. And like fucking leggings. I don't know what they feel like. Wow, that's going to be uncomfortable when you go back. What if it's loose? What if it's loose? What if it's loose? That'd, That'd be amazing. amazing. Could you imagine? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm doing way more activity than I was when I was working. Yeah, that's and true. I'm snacking less, which is just crazy. Lisa, Lisa asked if we have a P.O. box or something we can mail stuff to. Uh, P.O. boxes are freakishly expensive. Like $500. We're not paying for that. No. It's very weird. I was kind of shocked at how expensive they are and that anyone would pay for one. Right? Like, I would rather put my internet at ad my address out on the internet and have people come try to murder me. <laughs> um, but I would, I would love to have a P.O. box for someone to mail stuff to, but unfortunately we don't. Like if we could get PR, I would be turning cartwheels. Yeah. Just buy your jeans. Fuck it. That's exactly what I'll do. I'm not trying my jeans on right now. Elastic waists, not one zipper or button. <laughs> smart, 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 smart. But you're wearing jeans to work, I'm assuming. 
I am. I'm wearing jeans or my or like work pants still. Damn. I cannot wait for it to consistently be above 65 degrees so I can start wearing dresses. Like I will say, I'm fucking tired of jeans. Jeans are not comfortable. I spent no. the last five years of my like working life wearing tra- like trousers and slacks and like that kind of shit. They're so much more comfortable in jeans. I would rather wear a pair of dress pants any day over jeans. But jeans make it so I can wear more of my closet because... You can like, wear more tops. Yeah, because some tops are just way too casual to pair with, like, slacks. So, oh, yeah, she's a trouser fan. Hell yeah. Someone told me that I have to strip my clo- my bras using the Go Clean Co method. Girl, I did. How are they? Do they feel different? Do they smell different? Do they... So I had one bra in the mix that was, I think, six years old, and it looks better. They smell amazing. They smell amazing. The water was not as dirty as I thought it would be, because we wear self-tanner, and I was like, oh, that rubs on my boobs all the time. It's going to be so bad. What? Oh, what was that all about? You do look like Tom Selleck. Your hair looks feathered and everything. It's weird. I don't like it. It is funny because I feel like it's like self tanner. One of the big places that it disappears is like yes. this half moon under your boob. Right. Because, I thought like, for sure it'd be terrible. Yeah, I would. Th- I would think mine are. Um, where like, do I find all my dresses? Loft. Uh, I would say ASOS and Loft. I do a lot on ASOS because they just have such a varied selection. They have you know, thousands of dresses to choose from, so it just makes it easy to buy a bunch, and they they can be really inexpensive. Yeah, and then Loft. I'm trying to think if there's any others. Do you remember when Elise was wearing that really beautiful leopard dress at her wine club? Uh-huh. I finally bought it. Oh, you did? I, it's not here yet. Pardon me, but yeah, I did, because it was like 60% off. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, like I have... Like, I have a loft be- box behind me, but I think I only ordered... Are you keeping everything? One dress. No, there's one shirt that's just, like, very tight in the arms that I'm going to get rid of. There's one shirt that just doesn't... There's I think there's two shirts that just, like, don't do much for me. Mm-hmm. They're fine, but they're not great. Right. Um, and then I'm going to keep everything else. Good for you. Pajamas, are, pajamas were the reason I ordered it. And they're amazing. That super discount coat I got is fucking fantastic. And then I got a selection of white shirts. More yeah. or less. We're big uh, into white shirts. Yeah. And then some more no-show socks because I love them a lot. Oh, yeah. I think I gave you mine. I know we talked about it, but I don't know if you actually did. If I didn't, I'm going to. Honestly, like, let me show you how cute this no-show sock is. Please do. Do you have pants on? Yes. Nobody look at this back here. Caitlin, oh. no one can see... All I see is your chair and your bed. That's it. Oh, <gasps> that's adorable. Right? Like, that is a very cute fucking sock. What books are you currently reading? Well. Absolutely none. Really? Not reading a single You're not book. reading Jessica Simpson? I started it and have not finished it. What about Jen Gotch? You can read that now. I, yeah, I will read that, but I, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. I've been busy. Caitlin's busy fucking a new dick. And I've been really busy doing a lot of other crafts. I've only read two books during quarantine. Wow. I think it's because you've been doing so many activities. It makes me feel really bad about myself. Really? Yeah, it Don't does. Cry, honey, it's okay. I know. I know it's okay. Don't cry, honey. It's okay. Don't cry, honey. It's okay. Uh, but I am reading a new book, and it's on my Kindle, and it's called... Sorry, those are my empties. Those are all my empties. Kaylin, can you please download Roller Coaster yeah. Tycoon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, of course I will. I actually, I literally almost did it this morning because I woke up at about 8.30. Oh, wow. That's and great. I, that's not even early, but I thought like, okay, I don't have to, I have to be at, to donuts at 11. So I was like, I got some time. Maybe I'll just download. want to cry. Please <laughs> Maybe I'll just download Roller Coaster Tycoon, and then I thought, oh, fuck no, bitch, because if you download Roller Coaster Tycoon, you're going to be in it for the next 12 hours. Do you not will. download. So then I didn't, but I will. I promise. I'm, like, very excited to do it. So this is the book I'm starting to read. It's called On the Island, 
It was $1.99 on Kindle. I haven't read a Kindle book in probably five years, but for $1.99 when the libraries are closed, I'm all about it. I thought you were about to just put your sunglasses on your face. No, but my hair is really getting long and tangly. Whole potato. Whole potato. Sure. Have you read The Sundown Motel? No, but I've read The Crawdad Sing and it's amazing. So well, it's funny because actually Tish just... <gasps> whoop, whoop, whoop. The puppy and the guy's hot. No, I'm, re I'm laughing because I just read she's been playing hide the sausage instead of reading. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> but one or both of us, I don't know. Both, apparently. Um, her man was cute. Oh, but Tish just finished Where the Crawdad Sing, and she didn't like it at all. At all? No, she didn't like it. I talked to her months ago about her starting to read it, so I think she read it too slowly, and she didn't get to, like, really love the character. Yeah, she just said that it was way too much description of the... Oh, I love that. Yeah, she just doesn't like it. Oh. She needs more action, I think. The memories of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm texting my sister after this to reminisce. We loved that game. I I downloaded Roller Coaster Tycoon three and I'm obsessed. Uh, I'm having so much fun building my own park. I remember setting the the timer on the oven to step up when the turns were over for Roller Coaster Tycoon with my sister. Like we were both deeply obsessed with it although I think I was probably the most hard up for the fucking roller coasters but we used to have to trade on and off because I would want to play for hours Stardew Valley I think I've heard of this I play for hours at a time turns out video games work on me turn off your brain for, for sure so I've been playing uh, Bubble Bubble Witch 3 the saga Bubble Witch 3 my order's ready babe you ready well, we'll eat and then we'll go get it. What order? My Apple Watch. You're going to go get it from where? Target. Target. Curse wow, side, you're going to drive all the way out to Target at 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday? You want chives? Yes, I do want chives. It's a school night. I know. I don't care about school. Ugh. Some of us aren't working tomorrow. Some of us aren't working tomorrow. Oh yeah, Mike's not working tomorrow. He's finishing our deck. But when you take like sick time for that, what's that? What do you do? Honestly, I check my PTO and it's insane. I have to start taking time off. I do. They've they've told us we have to start using our PTO because they're not going to allow everyone to take off from fucking Thanksgiving to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I think mine's just so, mine accrues so slowly. It accrues the same amount as when I was at the hospital, but for some reason it just seems like so much fucking less. I don't know why. Really? But I don't, yeah, I don't think I really have that much. Well, I have five I, and a half weeks right now. I don't even think, I don't even know if I have a full fucking week. Actually, let me, let me look. Let me see. What Apple Watch did you get? I got the Series 5 because... It's $125 off right now, and they're open this late. Yes, I did curbside pickup. They're open until 9. I'm only like 10 minutes away. What kind of band did you get? I'm going to order a cute one. A cute one? What's it on now? It's a gold watch, but it's on a pink band, and I don't love that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was thinking of leopard or tortoise shell. Cute. I yeah. love that. Do you? Love. Love. So okay, Caitlin wait. came to my house today. You did. But she stood out on the street as I stood inside of my fenced-in yard. And I said, it's going to be so emotional for me when I get to hug people again. No. Or if I can do shots together. I just want to do shots. Why can't I do shots with you? It's not fair. Life's I know. not fair. That's the hard part. Like, I think it's going to kill me when I see all these videos of people hugging their relatives afterwards. It's yeah. going to kill It's just going to kill me. Why can't I figure out where to download my fucking time card? Oh, girl, you need to take some... Oh, thanks, honey. You're the best. <gasps> Look at this meal that he made me. Big-ass plate. Delicious. It's like I'm at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> 
I will say, I think you probably should eat with your husband and not live because he just made you a delicious meal. Yeah, I'm not going to eat live. Just a thought. And also, I just feel sad now. <laughs> oh, no, not a sermon. Just a thought. No, I'm, try I can't, I'm trying to figure out how much time off I have. Not I don't a sermon, just a thought. Who said that? Huh? Who said that? Who said, Who said what? Not a sermon, just a thought. Oh, that's one of those weird church commercials. It's it's a church, and they do this whole weird preachy thing, and then they go at the end. It's not a sermon, just a thought. I'm like, bitch, totally a sermon. That's 100% a sermon. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%.
Oh, to make an unpleasant feeling less intense. No, oh, still not the right word, I don't think. Anyway, um, they, like, I don't, I don't worry about them anymore, but there's just a couple lingering things that I... Well, one, it's quarantine, and I feel like quarantine is not an accurate representation of how okay, we would be fair. as a couple in the world. Um, what if he's, like, mean to waiters? <gasps> what if he doesn't tip? Right, like, these, these are the things. And so, while they're not the most important things, and this is just, that's like a dumb example, but just in general. Like, we've, we've never really, we've gone out in public, like, two places twice before all this shit started. We have not ever met, really, like, we don't interact with other people other than just each other. We're going to do a double date at some point. Yes, I would like to. He was going to come this morning. Oh, I wondered if he was with you. He was going. He was going to, and then he was an idiot. But not the point. Uh, but yeah, no, he want. He wanted to. He like texted me when I was driving. He's like, I wanted to come with you, and I was like, I did too. I you met know? him what once? Yes, twice. Twice. I- I've been a fan. However, <laughs> it's very one. limited interaction. Yeah. Tish, um, he came over to offer moral support while I painted my front door. Yeah. And Tish really liked him. They honestly were, I was laughing so hard. I was like, I feel like I'm on a third date. I mean, I'm on the third wheel on like, like a friend hang because they were so fucking funny together. It was cracking up. And Tish is a harsh judge of character. which I, I love that. Yeah. So he was here for like six hours and we were just sitting. Uh, we like pulled chairs outside. We had, we had drinks. We ordered food. And we just hung out literally all day outside of, on the stoop. And, yeah, she, no, she really liked him. Well, she liked him. I don't say she really liked him. But she, yeah, she was for him. She would tell you if she was not. Yes, she would definitely tell me. Well, maybe not yet, but she would. She would. Um, and then also she has um, lifted the man ban at the house. Oh, that's nice. So that will help you out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but what's funny is that he offered to come to my house tonight after this, and I was like, oh, well, no, it's, like, not, no, it's my space. But why? I don't know, it was weird, because it would be better for me, but I still was, like, very, like, the idea of him actually coming here and, like, staying the night seems so strange. So are you going to go there? Maybe. I don't know, because now it's, like, dark. I feel like the day's over. I have to work up in the morning. I have Sunday scaries now. He could be a werewolf. He could be. Who knows? I don't even know. I mean, he's a fucking stranger. That's true. I'm so I, glad this went well and we figured it out, though. You figured it out. I didn't figure shit out. Well, I mean, I, I Skype called you. Round of applause for Danielle, everyone. Thank you. Okay, wait. Go eat dinner with your husband. I will. I love you, you guys. I love you. We'll see you soon. I think I'll there's a way to save this. Yes, and in some way, shape, or form, we will see you soon. I will start getting better about stories now that I've just come clean and told you, everybody, that I'm a sketchy bitch. Yes. So I don't have to be so afraid of posting. That's but, so true. Yeah. I mean, I was practically Kylie Jenner when she was pregnant. Practically? Practically. We miss you, though. We, like, I miss filming videos so much. I miss... Well, it's not even, the, like, filming videos, so that's what it is, but, like, I just miss it. Coming over there and like bullshitting and like drinking and I driving know. your husband. I want to bother your husband. I want to annoy your husband. I miss annoying your husband. Yeah. I miss petting your dog. I know. I know. I miss rolling our eyes at your crazy neighbors. <gasps> They're so crazy. So crazy. And Ab- wait, I'm going to text you about my new ones. Yes. No, I want to talk about that. It's insane. My windows are up on here. I want to tell you. Yeah, I yeah, I just want to do all the things again, and that's the other thing with what's his face. I want to do all the things. Like yeah. I want to go out and do everything, right. and I think he does too. He seems like a doer. He does. We've like talked about that a lot. We both are that way. Like we want to try everything, do everything. We I said that to him today. I was like, I think one of the reasons I like you is because I want to do everything. Like I'm a yes person, and I feel like you would do all the things yeah. with me. I, one, right. I told him one thing. I was like, I'm going to need you to start eating all the things because he's a picky eater. And I was like, you don't have to eat everything, but you're going to try it. Just try it. Yeah, because I don't want to fucking share food with someone if all they're getting is a burger, no cheese. Or chicken tenders every time. We're going to need to expand that palate. Honey. I agree. Or you're just going to have to go out with us, too. And then we can three-way share. 
Exactly. I'm going to be like, sorry, I'm actually going to share food with Mike because we really like the same foods. So. Oh, someone says, okay, now crying over all the things. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Mike. Let's respect their marriage and their time. We're going to do and better. We're going to do better. We're, we're all learning here. That's the thing. Yeah. We're diversifying. We're growing. We're growing. We're growing. I do miss you. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. When do you want to do this again? I don't know. I think, I think some of them are going to have to be at Ronnie's house is the only thing. Is, is that okay with you? This man is walking in sneakers, but it almost looks like he's walking in high heels. I don't know what he's doing. It's very, I don't know. It's like he's a walking bend and snap. Sorry, I digress. But are you going to allow yourself to film at Ronnie's? Yes. Okay. And yeah, he will right. allow it. He is pro this. Yeah, he's pro this. He's been he's been down to clown for, um, like, weeks at this point. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, we um, will see you soon. Yay! We miss you, you too! Bye! Bye!